What's up, DJ? Hey, how are you guys doing? Doing all right. We don't get video? Huh? Um, I'm trying to get that going. Don't worry about it. Nobody wants to see that. Oh, fuck. I want to see the black ass. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, one sec. Yeah, for some reason, I'm having, started having trouble with it yesterday. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Just 3D print a new one. It's, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> good God. How are you guys doing? Pretty good. Oh, fine. Yeah. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind, there's like a huge glare on there. They still don't know when the Cedia train is going to take place. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Matt's practicing a serious face. Yep. More like my, hopefully, my contact doesn't fall on my eye face. <laughs> yeah, you didn't hear my comment about you when you first come on, did you? No. I said you look like shit, dude. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're not even denying it. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Man, those hip pads are no joke. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of those, dude. Well, I went ahead and I just, yeah, it's more of the aftertaste. Like I, I it reminds me too much weed, and you don't, you're not getting high while you're doing it. So. I know, but uh, Sarah actually got a sweeter version, and I tried that. I was like, oh fuck, that's that actually tastes like there's some sugar on it. I'll take that. <laughs> right. But no, um, what I mean, like literally, if I had a really really shitty call, I would just put myself on break for a second, go out and have a smoke break. Oh, there you go. That's just fucking perfect. Yep. yep. Oh. oh well. Okay. What are we waiting on? Yeah, I don't. I don't think we're waiting on anything else. Like uh, oh. Eli's doing, yes. Doubtful. Uh, probably not. Yep. He's not online. He's not on Steam. He's nowhere. Okay. Um. Well, then let me go ahead and go over what I have. Um. So. Uh, I did find the part you were looking for. However, I found it from a website that I could not pull any reviews from, corporateshadow.biz. Um, so I'm a little nervous about ordering from them. Uh, the only other uh, device I can order is the device that replaced it at the uh, company. Um, uh, Darnell, I'm sorry. Dude, you're, you're breaking up a little bit, so I didn't hear what you were saying. Okay. So, but the part you're looking for for your cell phone that you're building? Yeah. Yeah, the light shield. Uh, not the light shield. Yeah, the, L the LTE uh, base shield version 2. It doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, they retired the device. Um, so, it can't be found anymore except at this really weird uh, this website I'd never heard of before recently called Corp Shadow Biz Store. Uh, I didn't find any reviews on this uh, website, so I was a little nervous from ordering from them. Yeah. I got you. Are you, are you talking about the 4G uh, module? Yeah. So, you can't find it anywhere else? Yeah, it's been retired. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the only huh. Find it was from because everywhere else they uh, no longer have it in stock. It was replaced by another device. Mm -hmm. I sent a link. To, uh, I sent the uh, information in our um, in our uh, yeah, OT chat. You sent it like our, it was like a week ago. You sent it, wasn't it? Yeah, so like last week. Mm -hmm. uh, that that uh, device has been retired, but like this week, I, I kept looking and I did find it. Uh, but as I said, I don't know anything about the website Corp Shadow Biz Store. Have you guys heard of it? Right. Uh, no. I have not, no. Okay. And I couldn't find any reviews for this company online, so I'm nervous about giving them our money. Yeah. <laughs> no, I get you. Yeah. So I was thinking maybe go ahead and uh, let me pull up the actual device that replaced the one you're referring to. And tell me if this works. One second. Oh, that's crazy. No, no, no. Right now in the game, all the hell is that? Let's listen to this on video. 
Watching a 64 speed run. And turn it into. I had all of this up a minute ago, so one second. Brian, you're good, dude. Take time. We're in no rush. But it's six villagers, and we gotta check out who they are. You guys don't know. Rilla, Marty, Atoll, Chai, Chucks, and Chucks, right? They're all the way to the same real properties, and they have a ton of items. All right. Now, as I mentioned, in the game right now, if you happen to be lucky enough or just stumble upon a card and you scan it, Holy fuck, that ring cut adventure, man. Yeah, I, you, I think you convinced Katie to buy it. Uh, so Sarah doesn't do the jogging, but she did do the uh, the different mini games that they have on there. Because the the core adventure, obviously, is you're you're jogging along and you have to push and pull the ring and do different stuff. Um, but there's a there's a bunch of other stuff you could do too, various mini games and like just you know uh, targeted exercises and stuff. So it's pretty fun. Sure. So I put a link uh, to the device that replaced it. It's the uh, Raspberry Pi 3G, 4G, and LTE base hat. But the items are super cute. That's probably one I'm similar to the one I'm looking at here on uh, Amazon right now. Yeah, it's a device that replaced uh, the one we were referring to before. They retired the old that one. I'm pulling her that one. Uh, actually, that, that's the exact one I was just looking at. Okay. Oh, sweet. Okay. So, I'll just go ahead and order that. So not only does this card uh, how much is that? Forty. Yes, uh, forty. Give me one. Yeah, it's forty. Let me look at the one on Amazon real quick. Okay. Six cards. So every pack of the Sandrio collaboration has all six cards. And we consider it's about to be like seven dollars is what it's supposed to be. I know we haven't been on it for a month. Seven dollars. That is absolutely my friend. Yeah, let's let's go with that one then. This is fantastic. Uh, that that'll do. I mean, we could we, honestly, truthfully, we could do a, a, a cheaper, like a 2G version or a 3G version. Uh, but I'd, I'd like to be able to have the code that supports 4G while we're doing it, and that's it, you know how, how it is. Want to be able to make sure we have what we what we're work, want to work push for. Yeah. So did you guys? I guess we plan on making it an Android device, correct? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. It's got, well, it's going to be Linux. Alright, so you guys plan on creating the interface from scratch? Yep. That's it. Uh, so you can, Ubuntu uh, has a um, uh, open, which Ubuntu is open source anyways, but uh, they have a uh, open source uh, self uh, cell interface. It's basically a, a mixture of uh, Android and Linux mixed together. Uh, okay. It's kind of the best of both worlds. Yeah, I was um, little playing around with uh, putting an Android interface on the Pi 4, and I did, and I even managed to get Google um, uh, Google Play Store. On it. That's really interesting. I just kind of wanted yeah, to did you use BlueStack? Huh? Did you use BlueStack? No. Um, I used a couple of different things. Back I used a couple of different interfaces to see which one would work better. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I go a long way. I got the play store on there. Uh, no fun. No fun. All right. So on that note, too, Darnell, uh, we do not have the GPS module. Period. Uh, me and Eric went through the entire inventory over the weekend, and we just, I don't have it here at my house. No problem. I didn't find it either here, so I don't know. I guess that went to the gods. So I'm going to order another one of those as well. Okay. Um, I'm just going to blame it on you. Uh, so are you uh, just sending them to me, or are you uh, sending them to yourself, or what? I'm sending them directly to you. Okay. Uh, you still got my address, right? Okay, good deal. Um, so, on that same sense, what, where are we at on the uh, on the funds? Oh crap! I still got a seven fifty. I'll do that after the meeting's over. Oh, we, we reached the goal for this month. So Leon gave me fifty. I put in one fifty. So we're good. Oh Jesus! Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we have to. So I said our goal is to hit it for the end of February. So. Just for that same sense, Darnell, I know me and you have kind of like the head go, like to no problem doing it. 
but let's not uh, us I, I know you want to do it to make sure we get 200 but keep on pinging everybody to who, who can who can actually donate make sure you pay your mind okay well i do it at the last minute so the 28th would have been like the cutoff day yeah it, sure so nobody sent me anything else so yeah i mean i can harass you guys if you don't mind i would say yeah. like at the, in the IOT. Okay. Well, well that and also i would say at the start of the month and at the middle of the month just go ahead and remind everybody. Just that way, it's like, oh, I forgot the one. I can get the on the next one. You know, kind of one of those types of deals. I get paid every week, so usually I can I can handle even if it's twenty or thirty dollars. I can I can probably handle that. Um, so and just do it on the like so you guys pay pay cycles and things. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put like a weekly reminder in the thread. Like, hey guys, still looking for the money. Blah blah blah. Here for this close. Work. Still looking for the money. Baseball so, uh, bat, bat since we're, since we're looking for the money, make sure you post like what how much we need to meet that goal. Okay. I just said that a minute ago. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Yeah, it was two hundred. Yada yada. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm, so I'm saying how much we need to meet it entirely. See what I'm saying? So like, at the first, you know, we need two hundred, but at half month, we only need a hundred or seventy-five. Uh, that way, everybody knows. Yeah. <sighs> so, who's got business? Anything to add? So inventory, uh, literally me and uh, Eric went through everything. Um, still have quite a bit of stuff here. Um, and then... Um, Were you able to find the jumpers? <laughs> yes. We, we have two, ba two bags of jumpers plus a whole bunch of miscellaneous shit. So many um, jumpers. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually uh, going to kind of get them a little more organized. Uh, the uh, We have like two boxes that are kind of like miscellaneous bag and box. Which is just like extra stuff, and then there's like a whole bunch of uh, electronics parts, like resistors and stuff. And I wasn't going to sit there and quantify, quantify uh, all the resistors, not right now at least. Yeah, yeah, we didn't do that. We just kind of did resistors and did a rough estimate. Yeah, no, but I'm going to because I want to make sure we have enough. Because if we start allocating, um, because like me, how me and uh, Eric, so hold on just a second. Let me, let me pull up this, um, show you guys the um, the inventory sheet so you guys can see what we're doing. Yep. And uh, let me give me one second. Let me pull it up here. We were also thinking of setting up formulas to where if we have different projects going on, it'll automatically allocate things over. Yeah, um, so that's, that's, that's what we're going to do. So th this is what we have. So you guys can see my cursor, right? Yep. Okay. So, yeah, so right now we've got tabs for everybody's name. Whatever you have in stock, whatever you're donating, make sure you put it in here. So that way we have time like, to start pulling from everybody and figuring out what we need. Um, what we're going to do, aside from these tabs, is I'm going to have a master tab that's going to have all the inventory in one sheet. And then I'm going to actually move those over and we'll, we'll color code these as well. So like everybody's here will be green or blue or whatever. Master is, will be red. And then we're going to do projects like purple or blue or whatever. And um, so like the tasers that I have, um, those none of that stuff is in the uh, inventory because that's more of a personal uh, yeah. project. I will add the extra stuff into it. Um so anyways, um, what we'll do is like we'll have here um, add one of these sheets. So we'll add this like laser project. And then what we'll do is we'll list what items we need for it here. And then hopefully what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get them to where like my reference to code back and take like so many items from this list and then we actually have a running inventory. Okay. Does that sound good to you guys? Yeah, it sounds good. Okay. So that's that's the plan. Eventually, I think what I want to do is I want to build an access based database where we can just do this kind of like kind of like Salesforce or something where we can like do the parts and it all takes care of it by itself. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, and I've been working a little bit with Access lately, so uh, I, I shouldn't have too much trouble doing that. Speaking of which, um, I think we have both books on Access and Salesforce on the server. We do both. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that obviously you see this is everything that we have here right now, um, and this does not include like the donated wires and uh, electronics parts. Uh, I've got three, four laptops that I'm actually donating to this so we can actually make some other projects with the parts. Um, I've got monitors and everything I don't have it included in this. Uh, and uh, obviously, you know, like the small miscellaneous uh, stuff. We ha I have a whole bag of cell phones and cameras, uh, too, that we're going to start tearing shit apart. Yep. Seeing what we can salvage from them. Of course, we're going to get your pictures off, baby. Um, so that's what I have here. But we left that. Nothing. Uh huh. What did I did I do something wrong? Huh? I'm trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. All right. So, um, yeah. So, and uh, we haven't been able to start on the actual uh, project yet for the um, tracker because obviously we don't have any parts to do it with. So, what we could do is we could write in what all we need and then just color code it a certain way to be like, well, we don't have these parts yet, but here's the parts we do have, or something like that. Yeah, I know, I agree. So, I think that's what I'm going to do is I actually, uh, like the Taser project, I want to start listing those off. Uh, and then uh, the tracker, uh, I wanted to start looking at the shopping cart thing, uh, Matt. If you're still interested in doing it. Yeah, that's not a problem. Okay, because I think we have everything you need for it. Um, minus the, uh, maybe the, the track track layout. But okay. I'm sure we can figure that out. I think the one that, um, like for the for the small version of it, just for the, the one that follows tape, it just follows like a black tape. Just a black tape or a white yeah. tape? Yeah, it just has a, like a... It has like a photo sensor on it that follows tape lines. Gotcha. Um, and then uh, I think there was a couple other projects we were talking about doing too, right? Like I know we I don't want to stretch everybody thin and all that, and obviously we haven't really been doing much. But uh, I feel like the past couple of weeks we've actually been moving a little bit, and I want to like keep that momentum up a little bit. You guys yeah. know, with that? Of course. Yeah, man. Right. Um. So, like, my, my big thing is I, I'm, I am going to uh, start working on the door sensor again. Uh, Eric uh, brought the one that uh, has the code on it. Uh, hopefully, I can pull it off. If I can't, it's not a big deal. I, I can, we can redo the code. Um, Didn't we I'm, have the code saved on one of the pies? Uh, we did. Uh, so, I think, Darnell, you said you had the SD cards, right? Um, actually, no. Um, I did find a pack of SD cards, but it's going to be my own personal ones. Okay. okay. Yeah. So it wasn't the ones I was hoping. So I'll look. I, I've got some over here, but I don't know if any of them's got anything on it. Uh, I'll have to look. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's uh, it's, it's one specific that we coded on. Um, so... Yeah. So, yeah, we, I wanted to do that. Uh, also, uh, I want to, uh, at some point, I think everybody needs to get a Raspberry Pi. Yep. Yep. Um, we've got two zeros here. Uh, I've got my, two of my personal pies. Uh, I know Darnell had a few over at your place. Uh, do you have any threes or are they all the fours? Oh, they're all the fours. Okay. So, uh, I think maybe um, we ought to like maybe push a goal and maybe see if we can't all get one four. That way we have the newest one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how much were those? Oh, it's been a while since I bought those. Um, let me look at current price. Yeah, that's what I'm going to look at right now. Because yeah, I said if we want to uh, allocate some funds towards that, we can. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, the main thing is, I, I want to be able to do that, and I, I think um, because we have enough, I, I, 
I would like to see if we can't find some more of those seven inch screens and actually have them work properly. <laughs> um, you said you had one of them over there, right? Yeah, I have it somewhere here. Oh, so okay, I've got one over here, but it's the frame on it's broke, so I'm going to have to 3D print a frame. Um, did, you, did you get a, a scanner, or are you just going to build it from scratch? Oh, no, I'm are, just going to build it. Um, are you using the older version of SketchUp, or are you using a newer version? Uh, I'm using the one that we were using before. Okay, that's the one. So, um, yeah, I want to look into, because I would like for us to have, to you actually use the newer version. Um, yeah. I'm just going to look at cost for doing so, and also I'm going to check to see if I can just steal one, so, you know. For SketchUp? Uh, so I was thinking myself, uh, like I, I love SketchUp, don't get me wrong. Uh, if we do get get into it and we actually start doing this, I think we should try to buy a license. But uh, I was thinking of uh, Fusion 360. Have yeah. you looked into that? Yeah, it's kind of an upgraded version of SketchUp. Yeah, exactly. And it's, well, and it's all, you can also print directly from it. Yeah. Yeah, and I think oh, and, I think we do have some books on that too, if I'm not mistaken. We do. And that's, there is that's an the online tutorial for it as well. Yeah, they have a built-in uh, slicer on it. It's uh, based off of uh, Cura, I think. Yeah. Um, it's just like a Cura on steroids. You can, uh, and it's really travel with a lot of different uh, printers too. So. Yeah, it, it's basically an all-in-one. When we were working in the building, I looked into getting a license for that, and I just realized how goddamn expensive it was. Mm. So, yeah, it, it, oh, was yeah like, I know. That's that's the thing. It's uh, like if we can find a a boot of that, I would yeah. like to attempt that. I, oh yeah, uh, I, a couple of years ago, I checked and I couldn't find it. The closest I could find was SketchUp, so I, that's the one I got. But I'll okay, check. Well, I mean, how much is? Uh, do you know how much SketchUp is? Yes, uh, SketchUp for the. Uh, well, well, I just had it because I've been looking into that as well. Um, what the fuck did I just have that? Damn it. Leon, did you get a chance to check out the server? Uh, no, dude, I haven't okay. had. I, dude, I have been nonstop at work uh, this week. That's fine. Uh, I, I, I do plan on getting on it. Actually, if you want to, uh, this weekend, if you want to, you can help me uh, work on it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Now, would you be interested more like the professional one, since I'm, I know you're using yours for uh, parts you're printing off from work as well? Yeah. Uh, so, I, professional gives you more license. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, um, that is like two ninety nine a year. <sighs> isn't that? Yeah. A year. yeah, but you also get access to web and desktop. Yeah. I have to keep an eye out for any um, humble sales because I I seem to recall they had that once. SketchUp? No, Fusion. Oh. Yeah, you can find that for Fusion, absolutely. I would love Fusion. Hell yeah, that's what I was going to say. If, uh, how much is the personal version? Uh, one oh, next year. Yeah, it's, it's switches the shop. Okay. So, and what's the what limitations on that? Uh, let me think here. You don't get the plugins. Hmm. Yep, it sucks because you need them. <laughs> yeah, you do. Higher education. Produce thing. So I wonder how much access the uh, educated one, education one, has. I mean, you with just have web access. Um, Fifty-five a year, which means it's probably garbage. Probably. So for <laughs> well, it's too bad we don't have uh, somebody that's getting in school. Because the, uh, you guys have G Suit, don't you? Mm -hmm. That did? Yeah. Uh, I wonder if they have access to it because uh, they've got. Not outside of work, weirdly enough. Yeah, yeah right. I forgot. You are Mike, though. Maybe. He's got more access to it than others. So I'm I'm looking here I, because two hundred three hundred a year for that that's actually not bad. Yeah, it's like twenty four a month, so it's not bad. Well, I'm not just that. I'm just considering if if we if we all went in on it, that's what fifty maybe fifty bucks a month or for all or fifty bucks a year for all of us. Yeah, yeah. right. For three hundred seventy five. Yeah, seventy five. 
I'm trying to see what the 60 of Eli pitches in. Right. I mean, like right now we have the, and maybe we could do that starting at the end of February once we deposited more funds in there. Yeah, right oh now, yeah. we have enough to purchase like a license right now for the professional. Um, I just want to make sure that we purchase the pieces of equipment that we need first before trying to purchase that. Yeah. Oh no, no, yeah, absolutely. I don't want to get run us into anything anyway. So like that, that's that's yeah. thing. I just. So let's make a decision about that about towards the end of February. In the meantime, we'll just work on getting the equipment to you. Oh, my God. Uh, Katie is playing um, um, Animal Crossing, mm -hmm. and the statue of David is on. And you know what it's zoomed up on? The penis. This fucking penis. Well, I've seen people go oh, ahead yeah. and put a, I've seen, <laughs> I've seen people go ahead and put a speed bag in front of that and then go... <laughs> yep. Wow. Um, so yeah, I think that should be one of our goals. Even if it's maybe in June or something like later on when everybody's like a little bit more, you know, away from the holidays and all that shit. Mm -hmm. I just I think as much as we use it, and it's not just for um, for printing, but for the actual 3D modeling. Like we can yeah. actually model up stuff uh, for theory. Yes, yeah. so, you can model things for there. You can even um, create a virtual environment in there. So, yes. Yeah, cool. that, exactly. That's, that's my point. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Let's see here. I'm actually uh, going to be using it to uh, do my uh, a layout for my uh, dog park that I'm building. Golf cart? Dog park. Oh, dog park. That's what yeah. I heard. I heard dog farts, so... Yes, 3D dog fart. Yeah, 3D print a dog fart? That's, yeah. Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, so like Xavier, which is like our uh, regional uh, uh, property manager, mm -hmm. I, he, he's a big like visual person. So he, they they pretty much let me build anything I want to whenever I say, you know, let's do this. And uh, they asked if I could build, you know, the, the dog stuff. And it's, it's going to cost them if they bought them outright, like almost five grand. I think I can do it for about a grand of materials, and that's mm -hmm. it. Plus, obviously, my pay. And uh, I'm going to do a, a 3D print of the entire dog park, so they can put it on display. Nice. Right. That's what I said. Matt's Hi. acting squirrely. <laughs> <laughs> where's Where's uh, Jace? Uh, in bed for not listening. Oh. But if he wasn't listening, then he wouldn't have gone to bed either. Trust me, yeah. he didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I mean, that's that's what I got for right now. Uh, you guys got anything else? No, not really. Um, just I just don't have time. Like, beyond no, okay. like the little bit of time that I do get at night, I'm just trying to chillax, and it never yeah. happens. Yep, I get you, dude. Uh, I, I I know Eric's been there, and uh, I know Darnell hadn't, but yeah, the kids, I understand. Uh, they get to that point. Know, it is very stressful for me to try to put my feet up, relax, watch TV, and answer my text messages. I mean, <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean okay, that okay, is multitasking right there. Jesus Christ. Wait, you answer your text messages. I know, right? Dude. <laughs> well, I finally got oh, a all right, Darnell. So, I, uh, have you have you printed with TPU yet? The what? TPU. Flexible filament. Have I printed with the flexible filament yet? Yes. Nope. So, I did. Mm hmm And it came out pretty good. I made face masks. Oh, cool. Well, you said face mask extender thingy, right? <clears throat> So yeah, the uh, I made some soft face masks. I'm actually going to uh, print out Katie a dildo here in about uh, six hours. Um, no, I'm not. I'm going. To, I'm going to get you a big black one. Oh my god. Uh, anyways, uh, no, it's it's actually uh, I, I ran it a little fast, uh, so I'm going to slow them down a little bit. But man, it's 
I put it, uh, I've already upgraded my printer, uh, got, got it a glass bed, uh, mm -hmm. and then uh, changed the extruder on it. Uh, yeah. So it's, it's all metal extruder. And um, what else did I do? Oh, my leveling, my leveling springs. I replaced those. Yep. And uh, man, this thing's printing on point. Like, great. Well, then you got that one, uh, the plastic t uh, wheel thing on there, too, right? I didn't hear you, Darnell. I think I've replaced every piece of equipment on that front. Like yeah, it happened. It's, <laughs> it's like a crack addiction. Yes. Oh my god! Because I did. I can't replace the leveling springs on that one. Um, yeah. I have to replace the base. It's still a metal one. I definitely replaced the extruder. I replaced the motor that feeds it. Um, I replaced all the wiring. Just about. <laughs> so yeah, it's right. great. <laughs> I mean, seriously, whenever I hear you two talk about it, I think you're, like, souping up cars for drag racing and shit. <laughs> uh, you just wait. Uh, so I, I just learned that, uh, you know how the uh, steppers, they make a, uh, they kind of talk to you? <clears throat> huh? What? What? The step, stepper motors, dude. Yeah. You said the one that you said talk to you? Yeah, how they talk to you, the, the noises that they make. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so apparently they have uh, something in the G code uh, where you can change it and you can actually do make it do the Darth Vader. Uh, oh my God! Uh, Mark, Mark of the Empire. Uh, you know the Irish used to play a song. What's that? Irish used to play a song. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't anymore. I forgot. I don't remember how well, exactly what replacement caused it to stop playing a song. But Irish used to play a song whenever it printed. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> that was so crazy. I'm like, is it, have I been listening to this thing for too damn long? Because it sounds like it's playing a fucking song. It's over there doing apple bottom jeans. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a, it's going pretty good. I'm, I'm going to build an enclosure for it uh, this weekend. I think uh, so I got, got the wrong size boards for it, so I need to get bigger boards. Okay. What is it? I said okay. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anybody else working on any other projects? Or any Not that I haven't wanted to. Yes. <laughs> Not at the moment. Mostly just went ahead and helped Leon over the weekend. Yep. Which the inventory list looks good. So at least that was a start. Absolutely. Yep. You guys, I guess you guys putting that in the server, yes? Or is it already in there? No, it's on it's on Google. It's on Google. It's part of the sheets. Yeah, it's part, it's part of Google. Okay. I, I shared it on there. I will put it on um uh the server at some point, but right now since it's just Google, yeah. there's no sense in moving it over. It's it's Google. Google's gonna okay. update it better than the server could anyways. So Yeah, yeah, but we could set up like backups and stuff. Yeah, of course. Sounds good to me. Oh, Flexi cat. Yep. Actually, see, this is what the dildo looks like. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's gonna make it hit every angle, right? Uh, so, uh, what are we doing? Are we who's coming over this weekend? I'll come over, should be. You should I'm working on a personal team, or what is it, Darnell? I'm working on a personal project this weekend. Uh, you're always working on a personal project. Get your hand out of your pants. I mean, Listen. I don't think that's a personal project. I'm willing to share that with anyone. Listen, but <laughs> his personal project is also 3D printing a dildo. I'm just saying. <laughs> I will, I will, print, I will print that for Darnell, and I will ship it to you. Wait. <laughs> it'll be, it'll be ribbed for pleasure. No oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. He's like, it, it's gonna have like one of those things where he pauses it every little bit, so it gets a little bit. Uh, and we'll, we'll just do our weekend project and put it in there. There you go. <laughs> and that way, when he tries it, he gives him a shock of his life. <laughs> oh, taser on the end of it. Oh my god. Yeah. The one taser that you don't want to get hit by. So now, now I'm just envisioning like a dildo stuck to the end of the taser, and then you, you go ahead and hit the button and just go. <laughs> Not only that, but it's just like, 
<laughs> Not a, oh, what is this? The one that wouldn't shock you. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that, that reminds me of the time somebody went ahead and took they took a dildo, put it inside of a paint mixer, and you just see it <laughs> just like slap all over the place. And then somebody went ahead and took the uh, a pocket pussy and put it on the end of a uh, a Ford exhaust and oh started revving the engine. <laughs> they are called flesh lights. Flesh <laughs> lights. Uh. Be classy. I'm not classy. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But yeah, so that's cool. Like, so we'll be expecting you and uh, Matt and Darnell uh, will never come over. Um, oh, we're just when I am not busy. Yeah, well, uh, whatever. Uh, so, like, I, 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 I was, I was thinking maybe we could do a bonfire outside. Drink a few oh, beers. Well, I also you, you have to be a present to love the bonfire. I love bonfires. I'm going to love you. Mine's also going to end because I also have a job. I didn't get a job offer, but I'm going to probably end up getting a job offer within the next week. Good. So it will depend on that also. Good. You can work all. You can, you can work off some extra uh, cheeseburgers. Hmm. <laughs> it, it's a work, it, it's a work at home job. Has someone been eating? Bread bread? <laughs> Sir, I thank you. I've been eating nothing but fucking kale and chicken for like the past two weeks. <laughs> kale, 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 chicken. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's good, but that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I've been eating nothing but chicken breast and salad. So that's my version of salad is kale. No. <clears throat> And I just throw mango, or I throw fucking habanero hot sauce on top because it's zero calories, and just plow through it and pray. Yeah, I will. I will do kale, but I will do salad. I will do broccoli. I will do cauliflower and carrots, vegetable soup, all kinds of stuff like that. Listen to Katie; she knows what she's talking. About. I didn't hear her. Uh, she didn't say anything. <laughs> she didn't say anything. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, excuse me. Hopefully you didn't hear that. No, did you fart? So, I did. Very loudly. Well, now I'm going to have to go back and listen to it on the recording. <laughs> <laughs> I think my chair might be a little wet. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I'll just I'll have to go ahead and edit your picture to to make it look like Matt blowing his vape, but it'll just be like a bunch of brown smoke that comes out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so classy. So classy. <laughs> Are you vaping again? Um. Didn't you didn't you yell at me for vaping? You me? Yeah, you. Come on. Uh yes to a question. That's fuck. There you go. Yep. So uh, I got I got Katie to try the uh, the CBD. Okay. They the helper headaches. I don't know if it helped her or not, or if it made her worse. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I mean, it's not a miracle cure, obviously. No, it's not. <sighs> uh, I talked to uh, I talked to uh, Mel, and she uh, kind of pointed me in the right direction for the migraines. And stuff because you know she, her and Johnny do been doing that forever. So. Oh yeah, <sighs> yeah. I think I'm gonna go ahead and on on payday. I'm gonna pick up a carton. That shit seems to be helping me a little bit. The hemp bits. Oh, that's good. Well, whenever you come over, have you ever tried the vape? Uh, the vape do uh, vape CBD. I mean, I literally never even tried smoking at all until last year. Um, I tried. I tried one that I thought was CBD. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in, other, in other words, it was the good one. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I? I was at the zoo. Do <laughs> Laced with a little bit of acid and. Oh my god. That's why he looked all serious whenever we got off. I'm surprised nobody's done that yet, done liquid vape acid. Oh my, oh my god. god. Pro they probably have. The hell of a Matt, Matt tried it, and that's the reason why when he got on, he looked all serious, because he was holding on to the world so he wouldn't fall off. I know, right? So, when are you going to order those, uh, Darnell? Tonight. Okay. So, give me, give me a heads up so I know when to look for them. Any baths or anything? Okay. Um, I'll probably put down your contact information. Okay, that's cool. Uh, let me think. That we that that's all I all we should need for that. If I I, I believe right, because we have all the LEDs. Actually, uh, Darnell, I am yeah. doing away with the LED, LED, LEDs on this. I think I am going to do a uh, a small uh, LCD screen on. Okay, you want me to get one of the seven LCD screens? What is it? I had one, I think. It's it's very, very small. One. I, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you because of Matt. Yeah. Did you want me to get another LCD screen? I mean, if you can. Um, one of the seven see. inch? One of the what? So one of the seven inch ones? No, 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 no. I, I, I'm talking about for the, uh, God bless it, the um, the Raspberry Pi 4. Oh no! Oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah. So, hold on a minute. Let me let me look here. There's um, an OLED that we can get. And I don't think it's going to cost that much on it either. So, let me see here. Uh, damn it! Is it quiet? Because I think uh, because I, I'd like to put a little more information on the screen mm -hmm. for uh, for this. Okay, so you need. Oh, sorry, I think I thought I heard you. Say, okay, I think so. You want an LCD screen, just like one of those printout screens. Yeah, like right here. Hold on. I'll send you a link right now. <laughs> like you're talking about, like the one that was about the size we use for the heart rate monitor, right? Yes, exactly. <clears throat> So this one right here, because we don't, and it also frees up a little bit of space on the uh, board for uh, for wiring. Yeah. Okay. So maybe uh, maybe get like a um, spring for the four one, uh, or fuck get. Maybe get the one with six on it, uh, the one that's for 20. That way, in case something happens and we need to have an extra one, we have plenty and we don't get stuck with uh, broken ones. Okay. Uh, that's, what, remember, that's what happened last time. We ordered two of them, and one of them went, was automatically bad. And I've got, a, I've got a bunch of code already for uh, for what I want to do because basically what I want to do is it's obviously have the date and time and all that. And also with our menus, we can actually cycle through the menus to si so you don't have to guess what this button does. You can actually see it. Okay. So I, I just think it's more I think it's more intuitive. You guys agree? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and um, with the uh, size and everything, I'm already designing the case for it and everything. So I should have a case maybe by next week. Uh, of kind of like a mock-up of what we want to look at, and then we'll get. I, I want to get you guys' opinions on it. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. And uh, I was thinking too. So we were talking about this because we were initially saying we wanted it on land, right? Yeah. That's what we pushed for. So instead of it being a breakaway lanyard, like uh, you know, it's it it breaks the uh, the case or whatever. Uh, so what we can do is we have these magnetic switches uh, here on the um, in the box, 
and they're small enough where we put it in top of the case and uh, actually put one on top, like attached to the lanyard side. Uh, so when it breaks away, it's a magnetic switch instead of being like a, a, a physical switch. What do you guys think? So basically, when you separate them, uh, the, that connection, it'll cause it to go off, yes? Right, exactly. It's kind of like a life alert thing, uh, like how I wanted to do, do the accelerometer. Uh, so to find, find out if somebody fell, so kind of the same, same thing. With this, it's going to be just a magnetic switch. Obviously, it's going to be a hard switch. You know, it's uh, not hard switch, but uh, it'll be attached properly so it can't come off. But if it does come off and that magnetic uh, connection is broke, then it's going to be, it's going to immediately send an SOS on. Yeah. Okay. So, I, I'm, I, I've got some uh, revamps on the uh, initial idea. So. Okay. So. And uh, Eric, if you want to, I'm thinking about this weekend. Uh, uh, I'm thinking about making a couple power supply stations. Okay. Uh, out of APX uh, power supplies that I have downstairs. So uh, if you want to help me do that, we can do that too. Yeah, man. Okay. So basically that way we can have some variable uh, voltage uh, and we can just apply it right to the breadboard and control it that way. And we don't have to like look for a power supply everywhere. Yep, that makes sense. Uh, sorry, I'm just going. Through, I'm sorry. I'm thinking to get quiet. I'm just going through the order. I'm just getting it together so I can just after the meeting I just hit uh, shit. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. I'm. I'm checked back in. Great. <laughs> oh no, you're good. So that should. Uh, that should cover us for that, for that, and then we can actually get started on getting a, a prototype run. So, like we said, I think we're going to try to do it off the of breadboard first, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we should definitely yeah, once, do that before we small scale it. Yeah, once we do that, I'm already thinking about how we can, like, uh, how we can actually small scale it as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I think I told you guys about that website about designing our own PCBs. Mm -hmm. So, they have an option to where you can integrate. The a Raspberry Pi module into the PCB, mm. so you get the you get the features of a Raspberry Pi, but it's in a different setup the way you want it laid out. Okay. Cool. So I'm I'm going to look into that. I'm going to probably try to order a couple of them. Uh, that's I'm going to do by myself just to see before before I like start saying hey we, we want to try to do this. Uh, so there's a couple of projects I'm, I'm looking into too that I want to see if I can't get get something going. So, but uh, yeah, yep, yep, da, yep. da. Yep. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and bounce off so I can eat. <laughs> okay, no problem. I think right, we're yeah. pretty much done anyway. I yeah. got a quick meeting. I'm gonna go ahead and get the parts ordered. I'll have them shipped over to you, Leon. Uh, most likely, you'll receive a text message from the both ordering companies, Amazon and Six Fab, to let you know when you can expect to receive them. All right, buddy. Sounds good. All right, guys. Good meeting. Yep. Good